So hey guys, here we are again on the shores of the mighty Lake Superior. It's uh, a little bit of a windy day. Like right now it's 7 Celsius, so it's actually warm for uh, this time of year. So we're heading on a ride. Uh, there's a road that runs along the base of this cliff and we're going to go check it out and do a little bit of exploring. Nice view of beautiful cliffs that run along this whole section. It rained all last weekend so it's probably going to be a fair number of puddles. Bunch of short, steep, rocky uphills. Not a problem on the big fat tire, surly. Traction to spare. Check out the view down here. It's a, a little rock overhang. Quite beautiful. Hopefully that tree there is sturdy because I'm going to put my bike against it and take a picture. more shots Pushing a 35 pound bike up a steep incline made of loose shale. Not fun. Heart rate, 148. High end of my tempo heart rate. Just pushing that bike uphill. Beautiful spot. Oh, that's really cool. This whole face here is just bits and shards of shale that slowly fall on their way down. That's really cool. I wonder if you could ride down that. I mean you could probably ski or snowboard down that because you just come down on a sheet of uh, rock sliding down with you. Let's check out that spot. There's a trail that probably leads to someplace worthwhile. I 
Oh yeah, I wonder if we can get on top of this rock here. Yeah, we can. First, photo op. Here's a beautiful spot. And it's slippery. Okay, so now we're gonna try to get on top of that rock there. Looks like you can from over here. Like, what caused that cut there? Like, was that a glacier or was it an earthquake? bit of a drop down there for a nice photo op looks like we can go down here What a unique little piece of geology. Ah. Very cool. Strange kind of uh, moss lichen. Uh
webs. I'm not gonna put them on right now because we're sweating. Climb our way out of here. Oh, we did it. Just in time to go up another hill. So I guess that actually is the beginning of that rock structure we were just on. You can walk down the ridge to get to the spot where we were at. Another shale landslide. Lots of cool formations around here. This kind of rocky terrain here is where this bike really excels. Tires, you gotta run them at nice low pressure. The tires just deform to follow the rocks. Positive traction, very little slippage. Man, lots of these big puddles. We had a hard weekend of rain last weekend. We've had a few days where uh, the daytime high didn't get above freezing, but it's like we're getting a little bit of uh, First Nation summer. It's just a steady, uh, gradual incline here, but it's all loose rock. Well, now we get to much more rocky section here. The bike loves this kind of stuff. here Fun. Rockfield slash creek. Oh, that's beautiful.
güey. Clean off my lens and my GoPro here with the water. Good. That's some seriously cold water. Nice flowing bit of trail. Superior here. There we go. What the hell does this sign say down over here? Oh, look, I'm actually doing some beach riding. Target practice. We're in a real safe place here. So the mighty Lake Superior, the world's largest freshwater lake. Another big sheer cliff. Well, it looks like it just keeps uh, on being rocky. So this rock that you see here fell off of that cliff over there and basically rolled its way down over here. That's kind of cool. I wonder how many years, tens of thousands of years, it sat there. Photo op. Cool how the waves created this ridge here. Looks like people uh, climb over here. There's enough trails. Let's just take a look. another geologically awesome spot well, hopefully nobody steals my bike Ok, 
Okay. Oh, you can probably get up top through there. I'm not gonna do it alone because chances of getting hurt are pretty high. Come out here with my brother. That's awesome. And it's getting eaten away underneath there. Eventually that top part there is gonna fall off and come crumbling down. Let's just climb a bit more to get a better view of the lake. I already made a video about a spot like this, but it's actually not the spot. This is a new one I have now discovered. Definitely coming out here again. And going to climb up all the way up there. Either with my brother or the Quickie King. In the winter, uh, what we just went on will be all packed down uh, by snowmobiles. So I'll be able to come in on that bike. Of course, Quickie King doesn't own a fat tire bike. So if I do it with him, we'll probably cross country ski in. <sighs> Loving it. Whoa. That's why you don't come out here alone. There's no cell phone service here either. Uh, so there you go folks. I don't think the camera will last until I get the batteries will last till I get back to my car So I'll just do a sign off here in case it dies early But wow, what an awesome ride Solid piece of exercise Made a new discovery I'm excited to come back here again and climb all the way up to the top So Here we are back in my car Uh, that was a great ride. Like I said, I'm definitely going back there to climb that one particular spot. I just have to find someone who wants to come with me because uh, it would be dangerous to do it on your own. Now I'm just trying to clean my bike before I put it in my car. Take off the one camera here. Lake Superior, a damn cold Great Lake. But the funny thing is, it's such a large body of water that it has a moderating effect on the temperatures along uh, the shoreline. 
because it takes so long to heat up and it also takes a really long time to cool down. So in the fall and winter, it actually keeps the temperatures warmer around here. And then when it comes to spring and summer, it actually has the opposite effect. It keeps the temperatures cooler. There's not too many lakes that you can say that about. It just gives you an idea of how big and massive it actually is. My hands are frozen. So let's just let the waves do the work. to keep it clean as I put it into my car. <laughs> Jesus, this is the cleanest it's been since I bought the thing. Put it on the grass. Well, there you go, folks. That's uh, my ride. I'll call it the Indian Mountain 2. Nice day of discovery and uh, adventure and exercise.